the government. It loves you and wants to keep you safe and well. It even wants to make paying taxes, fines, and court costs easier for you. How? Well, you'll need to meet your straw man. He was born the same day you were. He looks like you, has the same name, and lives in your house, but you never knew he existed. You will have even paid his parking tickets or taxes. The worst part? He's been dead from day one. From every birth certificate, a legal personality, or legal fiction, is created with the same name to confuse little old you into thinking it's you. So, there is a human you and a paper you, or as it's commonly known, a straw man. So when it seems like government officials, court clerks, or the police are speaking English, they aren't. They're speaking legalese, designed to make you agree to verbal and written contracts without even knowing about it, all spun from Black's Law Dictionary. For example, when the police say, do you understand, you'll say, yes. What they are really saying is, do you stand under our authority? Oops-a-daisy, you just created a verbal contract with them. Oh, you clever government. Did you know that whenever you register something, you are handing over title to the person you register it with? That's right. Whenever you register something with the government, they assume it belongs to them. Registered your car? Super! Now you are the registered keeper of your vehicle, and the government can crush it when you don't pay your, ahem, <clears throat> straw man's taxes. Expecting a new bundle of joy? Well then, you need to register your little darling with a birth certificate. Then they can start the process all over again and create a new straw man for your little one. Isn't that great? So when Junior grows up, he'll be able to generate revenue just like you have. When you notify on your baby by signing the birth certificate, your child becomes a ward of state. And if the government doesn't like what you're doing, they'll assume it's okay to take the child away or make new rules for things they don't like. Not enough school? Smacking your child? Shouting too loudly? Then it's off to social services for the little one. When you get a bill, it's sent to you but belongs to your straw man not you that's why bills fines and summons start with mr mrs or ms sometimes you'll see your surname in capitals just like on a gravestone that's because your straw man is dead and just a silly piece of paper created before you could comprehend or even consent to it when you go to court you represent your straw man so you the human take on any costs fees taxes and fines involved for the straw man the human you doesn't even need to pay them, but you made a contract with the court by appearing on behalf of your legal personality or straw man, just like the government knew you would. Confused? <laughs> well, don't worry. The government doesn't want you to know anyway. If you knew, you'd stop paying things like council tax and parking tickets. Because when you go to court, you are representing your straw man. You are you. Alive and made of flesh and blood. Your straw man or legal personality is a piece of paper created from your birth certificate. And you think it's you. What a silly Billy. Would you like to know more? Well then go over to tpuc.org. Get up, get informed, and get real. Good Lion TV will be producing a film solely on becoming sovereign, as this can and will be our greatest tool in turning the tables and creating a mass awakening from this matrix. Have a look at what happens when someone knows about their straw man and defends his true self in court. Oh man, I stand as myself and speak for myself in myself. I am not the trustee over the old calf's name that you're operating on. But well, you're here in court today because you were charged with some charges. I'm here in court today because I am making a special visitation. This is not an appearance, only spirits appear. Living men, living persons make special visitation. That's why I'm here to make sure that you guys don't tender my truthful, proper name. Do 
still live at 28 Flying Eagle in Manhattan? Well, there is a storage unit that I sleep in from time to time. All right. I live in myself in this body. I am the living man. Mr. Fitzalgate, you were here. You were seen by Mr. Putz on 9-3 of 13, and you asked, at that time he appointed you a public defender. Did you apply for the public defender? What use have I for a voice of ruin? They can only speak fictitious legalese to you. I speak natural living man's English to you. It's called common English. That's the only thing that I work in. That's fine. There will be no legalese used here. Well, you were charged on the 31st of August of 2013 with obstructing a police officer in violation of 457302. You were also charged on the same date with resisting arrest in violation of 457301 of the Montana Code. Those men were charged by me right back by staging an overthrow of the Constitution of 1789, an overthrow of the Bill of Rights, an overthrow of my rights to forage for food, as a natural living person who was in hunger. I was searching for something to put in my stomach as I am recognized to be allowed to do by universal law has nothing to do with your corporate fiction. They violated everything and furthermore, for your knowledge, they violated Judge Holly Brown's Title 26 United States Code ruling which I went before her and prevailed on 21st March 2011 EPO 9-58A is the case number wherein she evidenced that I am not a taxpayer because I am not a federal citizen. Federal law trumps state law at every turn. I have nine judge rulings to that end, and that trumps state law. I am not registered crap. I am the living man, and I have the right to forage for food when I'm hungry. All right. But you're here on different charges. That this is, is not what's Holly Brown's courtroom. Ma'am, you can argue this all day long. You're operating on I'm a telling, corporate fiction. I'm telling you, you're here on some charges which were filed in three courts. I do not number understand one, those charges. Number one, you keep interrupting me, and I'm going to charge you with contempt, and you'll go oh, to jail. Contempt of court is spelled C-O-double-A, and I know about calling this navigation. Sir, contempt is the story. I said, be Don't quiet until me. I get Don't through Don't touch me, you ain't a gun. Don't Officer? you touch me. I am the living man protected by universal law. You keep Just talking, there. and you're going to be charged with contempt, and you're going to go to jail. You have already contempted this place. No, I told you I would if you didn't You're trying to get down talk. here. These are the living witnesses to what you're trying to do. Very you good. are trying to create a fictitious, fraudulent action. You are trying to bilk the Federal Reserve by securitizing Sir? an all-caps commercialized name. Sir? and notifying them the that court they court that court they court are standing court in court debt court. now. It if is. you touch me, no, no, you will violate natural law. Do not come near me. I am then protected shush, by the land. Don't yeah, tell me to shut up. I, I am, am the living natural man, and my voice will be heard. That is the Jolly Roger. That thing you call the American flag with the gold fringe around it is the Jolly Roger, and you are acting as one of its privateers. Okay. You're here on the charge of arrest. Was I'm here arrest? by a special visitation. Right. And I've never let you get away with this, but I'm officer. here. To each charge could be up to a $500 fine up to six months in jail. I do not understand any charges. I only understand universal law and the right to live. Well, to live in peace guilty. and to live as I need to. You pled not guilty in this in this. I court. never plead. Animals plead. Sound like, bah, oink, oink. I have a paper with your signature on it, sir. It says prime evidence standing right through it. You bring forward all natural right. forms of evidence that I'm not prime evidence. I am the living soil. The dirt, the water, and the air has its own voice, does it not? It all supports sir? forms of life, does it not? I am a part of that life. I am not your corporate fiction. Sir? Do not tender me. You're here today on an omnibus hearing. You've already pled not guilty. I am guilty. here by special visitation to see to it that you do not tainter my natural living man's name. 
Are you prepared That's to why tell I'm the here. court if you wish to go to trial on this matter? This is a trial. Tell no, me it's this not. isn't a trial. Here's my this jury is an of my peers. Hearing, sir. You cannot produce a jury of my peers because all juries are selected from a pool of registered voters, and the instant a person registers to vote, their natural ability is appear to comprehend natural law has been dissolved and okay. turned into fiction. There cannot be raised a jury of my peers. It cannot be done. Excuse me for just a moment. No way. Get back here and finish this. Hey, hey, get back here and finish this. The judge has left the courtroom. There you go. You the captain has left yeah. the There is nobody in this courtroom. Yeah. Yeah. The judge has yeah. walked out. The judge has walked out. Everybody I up said and no out. excuse. Everybody up and out. I'm not letting you go. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Follow the man. Case to <laughs> Thank you. That's the kind of knowledge the Matrix has suppressed. Imagine if we all took a stand like him.